Now at six, a bird runs wild inside an LA County store, shattering hundreds of dollars worth of wine. Good evening. I'm Pat Harvey. And I'm Rick Garcia. Well, an early morning rager by a peacock made the day interesting for a lot of customers. Yeah, but the store is out of a good amount of money. CBS 2's Adriana Weingold is live in Arcadia with a video that you have to see to believe. Our <laughs> Adriana. Well, imagine the surprise for the people who work and shop here when the peacock wandered in and just wouldn't leave. The peacock flew to the top of the wine shelves here and stayed there until animal control could get it down. Is it fly? <laughs> Birds gone wild in Arcadia. Take a look as a peacock flapped around Royal Oaks Liquor Store trying to find a way out. At one point, it flew right towards Ronnie Gonham. He manages the liquor store and took this video after calling animal control for help. And it flew towards me. I didn't know they can actually fly high, but it flew up above the counter top and it landed right here on top of the ice cream freezer. Gonham tried to help the peacock find the door, but instead the bird perched up on top of the wine shelves with the bird's eye view of business below. Customers were still coming and going. Some of them even took pictures with the bird. <laughs> this was <laughs> really out of my comfort zone. I was kind of scared. I didn't know what, what to do. It wasn't long before animal control arrived. They used a net to guide the peacock down from the top of the shelves. But she didn't come down without a fight. Just kept on swimming through the bottle, and it's going, it's just, everything's just falling straight down. Like this whole thing used to be full. The peacock ended up knocking down about $500 worth of wine and champagne, but the rescue was a success. Animal control took the bird to safety. Ghanem was left to clean up the mess. And it turns out that peacocks are actually a protected species, so even feeding them can land you in some pretty big trouble. About a thousand dollar fine and up to six months in jail. So it's probably best to just leave them alone. Back to you. All right, thank you.